In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything, sex is hell host. Bringing you guys another life game, helping you get your message out to the world and building your YouTube channels. And if you are trying to get started and it seems really, really hard, I'm here to tell you, don't give up, keep pushing. And we're gonna talk about an easy way to do your thumbnails that's absolutely free. You don't need really any editing software, you just need a computer. But before we do that, I gotta put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up my craft, giving you guys a better YouTube experience. Definitely something better to look at. If you like any other gear you catch me wearing, go over to shoplifegains.com, check it out. Check out some of the deals I've got over there and check out the blog. So if you wanna see some of the things I talk about in written form, I've got them on the blog over there. So. As a YouTube content creator, there are two things that are gonna get you more views. Your title, of course, and number two, how well does your thumbnail look? And when I first got into this game, I didn't know nothing about thumbnails. I was flipping through, looking at what other YouTubers do, and they have great graphics, lettering, all that stuff. I didn't know how to do any of that, nor did I really understand that you need some editing software to do it. Well, here's the thing, you don't need that to do it. And I'm getting ready to walk you step by step how I do my thumbnails right here on my computer and I'm on a Mac. So you can go through the same process on a PC. You would just probably have to use a different command for screenshotting. But we're gonna get ready to walk through that process and the only other thing you need is TubeBuddy and that's absolutely free. So first I want you guys to take a look at and I want you to vote. Here are some thumbnails I've done in the past and rank them compared to some other thumbnails. I don't care if you don't think mine is the best, but just rank them, take a look, and let me know what you think in the comment section. From here, let's jump on the sexiest hell mat and show you my process for doing great thumbnails. Okay, so you've done your video now you want to come up with a thumbnail this is my process it's what i do so whatever my thumbnail is i'm going to come up here to google and let's just say i did a video on cats jumping off trees i'm going to put it i'm going to put in here cats to search for pictures so and i might even do trees and see what comes up and the first thing i do from this point is go to images okay and so you see a lot of images of cats. Um, let's see, is there any? Okay, this looks like a decent one, cats and trees, all right. So from here, I might try to create my thumbnail using this particular picture. And what I'm gonna do, cause I'm on a Mac, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how you do it on PC, but on a Mac, to take a screenshot, you hold Shift, Command, and four. And then you just scroll this little thing around and I always like to put graphics in here in the dark area. So I'm gonna start my photo caption from here. I'm gonna drag it to here. I got the picture, okay? And then if I need a background to put it into, let's just say for instance, red background. I'm gonna do red background and let's see what comes up. Okay, so I'm gonna check this one out. This one would fit for me, so I would do again another screenshot, which is Shift, Command, and four. And I'll start here, drag, I got it. Okay, so now I've got those two pictures. The next thing I wanna do, using my editor software, I mean my Mac's free editor software, I'm just gonna click on the red background, because this is what I want my background to look like. So I'm gonna slide that over, get that the size I want it. Then I'm gonna click on, the cat picture. And so from here, all I'm gonna do at this point, because the preview comes up when you click on those pictures, 
I'm just gonna take this image and I'm gonna just drag it right here across, just like that. All right, and once I drag it, I'm gonna click Edit, and all I'm gonna do is copy, and then I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, and from here, I'll just put the cursor where I want it, go to Edit, and do Paste. And there you have it. And now if I need to resize it, I can resize the cat, jumping from one tree to the other one, and there you have it. That's the very basics of my thumbnail. And now so that I can use this on YouTube, I'm just gonna do another screenshot. So I'm probably gonna wanna use this much of it. There you have it. So now let's get on YouTube and put this up, uploaded so you can see how it works. Okay, I'm gonna just go to one of my old videos that I'm not really using. So I'm gonna go to this one. I am on YouTube. Now in order to use the thumbnail editor I'm gonna use, you have to download TubeBuddy. Check my video description, it's absolutely free. There are tools for creating thumbnails. I just absolutely love them. And so from here, I'm gonna go to this video. I'm not doing anything with it. I'm gonna click edit. And you know you've uploaded your videos. You've gone through the steps of uploading the thumbnail that we just did. So I'm gonna go in here to choose a thumbnail because in order to do it in TubeBuddy, it's just easier if you pick the thumbnail from this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna open. Okay, and you have to save it so it'll be in there when you go select TubeBuddy. And then from here, when you have the TubeBuddy application on your channel, these two things are gonna pop up. And so after you've uploaded your thumbnail, you just go to TubeBuddy so that you can edit that thumbnail. And then from there, you would just come over here to existing image, click on it. It looks a little crazy in the beginning, but it fixes itself after you click continue. Okay, bam. So there's my cat in the tree. Now you wanna personalize this thing. And with the TubeBuddy thumbnail, you can do, let's see here, text. You can center the text. I mean, left side, center, right side. You can change the font to whatever you like. They've got different font options for you. Um, you can change the size to whatever you like. You can put borders, you can underline, you can bold, all that good stuff. So let me just kind of walk you through because I don't want this video to be that that long. And they also have emojis you can add in there too. So you see a lot of cats using the emojis. You can come in here and get them. You've got that one, you've got that one, so forth and so forth, all right? Let me just jump on in here to shapes. Now I would like to make this color scheme pop. So with red, I'll probably go with a blue. So I'm gonna do blue, I'm gonna choose that. And like, you guys, like I told you guys, I love arrows. So I'm gonna pick this arrow and you can shape it how you want. You can spin it this direction. And in order to make it bigger, you can pull it. If you wanna make it smaller, you can drag it like that. And if you wanna pull it in, you can do all that stuff. That's why I love this editor. It's just so much, so easy, so YouTuber friendly. So I would probably do something like this. Start my arrow. Then from there, I might add in a blue block to go with it and I'm just gonna resize it and put it just like that. And then I would probably draw it from there or something like that. And then I would put text in there so, you know, and I'm gonna go white, because I think white on pretty much any background tends to pop. So I'm just gonna put cat tree. All right, and same thing with this. You can size it like that. You can make it bigger, whatever you want to do it. So I'm going to drag it and put it in here. All right. I might probably make it a little smaller. Yep. And if I needed to make it this way, I could do it like that. Whatever. Okay. So there you go. This is still not an eye-catching thumbnail. You know, it's, it's okay. It's not a whole lot going on. So I would probably put another block down at the bottom. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna spin it this direction. And then I'm gonna say, let's see here, I got that. And I'm gonna put my block there. And you can add something else. If I was doing this video and I wanted people to watch, I would say cat tree. And what else would I say here? About to jump. 
and I would shrink this down a little bit put it in there okay boom there you have it so I would add probably something in these corners too so let's go to emojis to help us out for that and let's see I think I saw some animal emojis let's see here there's a cat put him right there and you can size this also that way that way this way whatever you want to do and then maybe add one more emoji down here let's see I don't know I would probably let's put a tree there we go there's a tree slide the tree down here size that tree how you want it and boom that would be my thumbnail for this one possibly all right and the next thing you would do is click continue slide it on up save and publish and then you're done and that is it that is my step-by-step -step process using getting free thumbnails that i make them pop when i add my own creativity to them using the TubeBuddy free applicator and then just finding pictures on the web well that was it everybody that's my process from a to z for doing thumbnails sometimes i use pictures from my video that i'm doing but most of the time i like finding things to express what i'm saying on the web and i like to splice them and dice them up and one thing that I love doing in my videos that is signature to me is red arrows. I love having red arrows with um, letterings in those arrows. That's kind of like one of my signature things I do in my um, thumbnail. So if this was helpful, please let me know in the comment section. If you want to collab with this channel, let me know in the comment section. I'm going all across America doing collabs, hitting Miami soon, hitting Atlanta soon. If you're anywhere on the East Coast, you want to collab with this channel to get your mission and your word out there, let me know. Also, I think I'm going to start editing videos for people for money. I'm going to try to be cheap, like $20 an hour or basically $20 for 10 minutes of editing video. It's real simple nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. You can send it to me in Dropbox. Let me know what your needs are. We can get it edited. And maybe this is a way I can give back to the community to help you guys get your businesses going on YouTube. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Check me out if you want to collab. Check me out if you want your videos edited. These are all the things I'm going to be doing, not free, but pretty cheap, to help build your channels because I know what it's like when you're trying to get started in this thing, and maybe we can learn something together by networking. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I will see you.